Well, here you can see that comb that I took out of that candy board and I've got it <laughs> hanging with a spatula offsetting it <laughs> so that it can drip into a bucket. <laughs> and um, you really want to leave this for a few days because it's going to take time for that honey to drip and um, release. So if you really want it all, <laughs> give it time. Set it up like this where you can work on it and just let it set. So there's some, there is honey down in the bucket. And you can see along the edge here, there's about a half an inch in the bucket. So let me show you what I did with the candy board. So I came out here and I dropped it onto my board and I let the bees clean it up because they're going to bring all of that honey back home and put it to good use. And who said there's no such thing as a free lunch? <laughs> Alright, so at this point, these girls are basically super tankers. And they are going to slurp up all that honey and take it back to the hive and put it in some comb and save it. And I'll bet you that, that little pearl of honey that's in that corner down there will be gone in about 10 minutes. And we're going to drink that up and move it. And you see their little busy tongues are looking like crazy. You don't want to waste any of that. And they will clean this board up tonight. I guarantee you that. So, this is that um, candy board that was full of comb. So, clean it off. And, uh, there's George. I just think that's so cool to watch the girls in there. Working it, man. Free lunch. We're all over that, man. And it's a quick flight from here around back into the hive. Because believe it or not, they actually have to fly away from the hive a little bit to get their bearings to go back in. And you can see them, they're not flying very far. Just bouncing right back in. And yeah, if this was August, I would not be doing this because it would cause a lot of robbing. Um, but we don't really have a lot of robbing right now. See, the other hives are not involved. It's just this one. And I kind of pushed it out a little bit proud of their entrance because I really wanted to like let them go grab this. And it's kind of exactly what's happening. All right, so what I did is I basically I gave it to my biggest hive, and by doing that, um, it's not going to involve robbing in the little hives. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's kind of what my thinking was, is that this is my biggest hive, and so I thought, well, I'll just put it next to them and let them go clean it up. And boy, they are totally... Look at that. Like a drinking fountain. A lot of nectar in that corner. They're fun to watch.
Nice healthy bees. They look so good. I'm really happy with these bees. We're going to have this board clean before I go to bed at night. I'll tell you that. Alright everybody. Dive Girl Dab. Cleaning up a candy board. Girls are lapping it up. All right, everybody, if you want to learn more? Join me, Dive Girl Deb, at the Flip and Lime Foundation, where we teach apotherapy, do education about Lyme disease, beekeeping, sailing, Volkswagen building, gardening, all kinds of things. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hope you enjoy this. Wouldn't it be great if we had bees that could come do the dishes for us?